myself dr surbhi sahani you are watching dr surbhi sahani dental series and medical videos today we are going to talk about how to read dental x rays that means how you can do the fastest interpretation of the dental x ray so without wasting time let's get started if you on my channel then please do subscribe to my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon the importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos first of all you need to understand that why radiographic interpretation is important for you yes being a dental student or a medical student or even as a dental practitioner it is very important for all of us as a lifetime useful thing to know the interpretation and to know how to make the diagnosis with the help of dental x-rays first of all if you have a x-ray in your hand then the first step is you have to find out the type of radiograph it is whether it is opg or whether it is iopa or whether it is some other kind of a dental radiograph so the first thing you have to find out is the type of radiograph as you can see the picture which is present on my right that it is the x ray that is iop that is intraoral periapical radiograph the second thing is you have to see the radiograph just like i am looking at patient in the same manner you have to see the radiograph the third important thing is you have to see and note all the teeth which are present in the dental radiograph or in the iop the fourth step is you have to pick the tooth of your interest which you want suppose some x ray is there just like if the one is present on my right hand side then you have to pick out the tooth of your interest whether it is carious whether it is malformed or having some any other kind of deformity so you have to pick that tooth the next important point is you have to describe the crown as well as the root of that particular tooth which is of your interest in that particular iop followed by you have to describe the pulp chamber the pulp condition the bone condition of that particular tooth the pdl condition of that particular tooth and the bone condition also include the adjacent bones that is the intraradicular bone condition so these are all the main points regarding how you will make the fastest interpretation regarding the dental x ray the steps when you come into the clinic in the third year or in the final year and then you have the iopa in your hand then follow all these steps to find out the diagnosis and this is the easiest way to read the dental x rays basically the iop see to the picture which is present on my right side that is the dental x ray basically the iopa as we are talking about the dental x ray interpretation so the first step is you have to find out what is the type of radiograph it is which is shown on your screen so this is the iopa that is the intraoral periapical radiograph the second step is have to see the radiograph in the same manner that you are looking at your patient that means you have to keep the radiograph just in front of you the third point is you have to find out all the teeth and see all the teeth which is present in this radiograph in this iopa so begin it from the premolar to the molar first this one is the first premolar the half of the part is there not the complete picture then the second premolar is present followed by the first molar and second molar is present lower first molar lower second molar 
already as you can see a little bit dot picture you can see here so it's usually present on the occlusal surface a slight little elevation while you are taking radiograph you can feel feel it on the film those dot will help you to find it that it is usually present on the occlusal surface the 3 4 3 5 3 6 3 and a slight part of the 3 8 also so these are all the tooth which are present in this iopa now you have to pick the tooth of your interest as if you find any kind of the caries or the restoration you can pick that particular tooth for the further diagnosis or if the patient is saying like he or she is having some kind of a problem in that particular tooth then you have to take the history or the proper investigation regarding that particular tooth only so here the tooth of our interest is 36 as you can see there is a slight um white that is the radio opaque area present on the crown section of the 36 tooth so this is the tooth of our interest as it is the restored tooth that's why there is the white area present in the crown section of the 36 tooth so our tooth of particular interest is 36 the teeth are normal in this iopa so our tooth of interest is only 3 6 step is you have to describe the crown and the root of that particular tooth of your interest as i said earlier in my video so here our tooth of interest is 3 6 if we talked about the crown portion we find a very good radio opaque area present in the enamel and definitely it's approaching little bit or extended up to little bit part of the dentine but it does not touching the pulp chamber or the pulp canal or the pulp that means it is the superficial restoration which is already done in this tooth so this is the radiograph of post op restoration regarding the 36 tooth if we talked about the pulp chambers or the pulp canal they are normal and properly well defined if we talked about the bone the bone level the intraradicular bone is also normal there is not any kind of the bone loss we can see in this picture followed by if we go down the cementum or the pdl area the lamina dura everything is found to be normal in this particular tooth so in this way we can make the dental interpretation or the diagnosis of that particular tooth of our interest how the dental interpretation or the dental radiographic interpretation the fastest one or how you can read the dental x-rays if you like this video then please hit the like button and comment down how you like this video or which part of the video you like the most and if you want some particular video on my channel then please comment down regarding that share more and more my videos if you have any query you can drop me in the mail which is shown on your screen you can also follow me on my instagram with my instagram id shown on your screen thank you for watching